finger. It's uh, Simon Ateba from Today News Africa. Uh, Simon, can you hear us? Hello, do we have Good Simon? Day. Yeah. Uh, yes, we can hear you. Okay. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. My name is Simon Ateba from Today News Africa in Washington, D.C. Uh, WHO Africa released a statement uh, not long ago about uh, that WHO welcomes traditional medicine. I wanted Dr. Tedros to expand on that. What uh, do you mean by traditional medicine? Do we mean black magic or what do they mean? And I also wanted uh, WHO to react to the controversial bill being introduced in Nigeria, the infectious disease bill. Do you, are you concerned that some, some government may use the coronavirus to turn their country into uh, a police state? Thank you. Um. What WHO and I think our African Regional Office released a statement on this does support the use, as we do all over the world, of uh, there's a difference here between what are natural remedies or natural supplements where people take things to feel better and uh, if, if people want to take a honey and lemon drink in order to ward off infectious diseases, that's a very different thing to taking a drug with an active ingredient, whether that's of natural or pharmaceutical origin. What we're talking about here are, 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 are uh, potential treatments that have active pharmaceutical ingredients. And an active pharmaceutical ingredient can help you if it's targeted at the virus that's infecting you, but it can also hurt you if it affects any other system and doesn't deal with the virus. So what we try to do in medicine is not make the difference between what are pharmaceutical agents and what are traditional. I think what we found more and more in the world that sometimes what ends up as, a pharma, as, an, age, as an agent uh, or as a drug coming from, from the pharmaceutical side very often starts as a traditional medicine. Aspirin, anti-malarial treatments, many of these came from traditional medicines that were well recognized by communities. And then when the active ingredient is identified, that's often taken and developed and scaled up and put into tablets. So we must recognize that traditional medicine has a value, has a value both clinically and socially and culturally. But what we do want to make sure is that any of those products that have active pharmaceutical ingredients in them are tested in the same way as normal drugs. And that particularly in the context of, 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 of Africa, we want to make sure that any material, any uh, uh, drug going into the body of an African gets exactly the same testing and safety and efficacy trialing as it would in any other part of the world. So this is not about denying Africans traditional therapies. This is about making sure that those therapies are safe and effective. And WHO will support uh, those researchers who have traditional uh, medicines that are, have some potential or are showing some promise or have some indication that they may work and we will support them in, in building the necessary clinical trials that can test the safety and efficacy of those, uh, of those potential traditional remedies. This is both as a way to protect people from remedies that may hurt them but also to select out those remedies that may actually work in this case. Maria? Just to supplement that, uh, you know, I agree with everything Mike has just said, of course, but the, the idea of traditional medicines, particularly for COVID-19, is something that is, is well under investigation. There's hundreds of clinical trials that are ongoing right now, and it is important that these are done um, through these, these types of studies called uh, clinical trials. Um, even within China, the use of traditional medicine, um, many of them are under clinical, uh, clinical trials uh, evaluation right now. Um, and I haven't seen the full statement from our, our regional office, but WHO has been working with a number of uh, research groups to, to ensure that any 
uh, drugs, any whether it's traditional medicine or whether it's you know Western quote unquote Western medicine, that these are done and evaluated through clinical trials to ensure their safety and their efficacy. And clinical trials should be conducted the same way no matter where they're conducted, no matter which continent they are conducted on, no matter which individuals that they involve, they need to follow the same scientific and ethical principles all over the world.